We interrupt this program to bring you breaking news. Motion VFX is now entirely a news website with their new plugin, M News. To prove it, we have a field reporter standing by for some breaking action. George, are you there? Thank you, George. Today we are out here at the Worldwide George Convention. It smells pretty bad. Now I'm gonna toss it over to George for the weather. It's gonna rain! In other news, the stock market is still happening. There's still news from around the world. There's news all over the place. And you too can share and create your own news stories in Final Cut Pro. Now, on to the tutorial. Once you have installed M News via M Installer, it can be located in your effects, as well as your transitions, and your titles. To get a real-time preview for any of these, you can simply drag your cursor over and you will get a preview there in your canvas on how these look. In your titles, you can see we have background category, we have infographics, logos, lower thirds, miscellaneous, placeholders, quotes, and titles. To apply, simply click and drag on top of the clip that you are wanting to affect. And then you can see that we have that sort of blur going on there. We do have an on-screen control for this one that just simply goes up and down showing the different gradient blur and haze and things that are happening. And then over in your inspector, you have any of those parameters if you would like to adjust any of those. Then let's say we also have some more information. So what if we needed to show like a country map, for instance, again, you can simply click and drag that in over top of whichever clip you are wanting to affect. So you can see that we have our haze come in and then we also have our country map. We have an on-screen control for position, scale and rotation. Over in our inspector, you can adjust any parameters for animations in and out. And then we have our country shape and we have every country that you can possibly think of in this plugin. If we want to fill the country, we can change this to color or gradient. And then we have our gradient colors here that we can make adjustments to if you would like. And then beneath, we also have a drop zone option and we have background drop zone effects. If you would like to apply a drop zone, there are your parameters. Let's continue down just a bit. So coming down, we also have these channel logos. So if you wanted to add a logo uh, for the channel, for instance, you can do so with the channel logo. Again, we've got on-screen controls. And then over in our inspector, we have the drop zone, so we can fill that drop zone. So let's find our logo here. We can just click M News, click apply clip. And then you can see that our red is just a little bit different. So why don't we change the color of our bar to the appropriate red using our eyedropper tool. And there we go. So we now have our channel bug there at the top if you wanted to use that part of the plugin. It just kind of animates in and animates out. Really nice. We also have our lower thirds, again, that you can skim over. I really love this ticker. It looks fantastic. And that is very popular for multiple news sites and news organizations. Again, just simply click and drag that in and it is going to come in and populate that area that you would like. We do have on screen controls if you wanted it to fill the entire screen, something like that, or keep it within those safe zones, just use it by default. And then over in our inspector, we have all of the parameters to adjust your text, fonts, colors, sizes, your bar, etc. So let's continue down and you can see here that we have the uh, reporter version of George out there in the field. So if we wanted to do a lower third, again, just simply click and drag in and it is going to bring that in just like you see here. We've got on-screen controls as always. And then we have all of our adjustable parameters here over to the side for populating all of that text. Let's continue down and you can see that we have multiple miscellaneous tools. So we have 
this alert tool. We have a clock here. We have a sort of a, uh, just a live button. We have a counter. And then we also have these fantastic intros that look really, really great. And these work well as standalone. So I'm going to just drag this in and I can just drag it in between some clips. You can see we're just starting with black and then we have a logo for drop zone and then all of the different titles there and then they come right back out. So again, uh, we want to populate that drop zone. So we're just going to scroll down in our inspector there until we get to our drop zone option. We can go and find that drop zone click apply clip to populate and then we need to do some scaling so let's go over and we can bring our inside scale of that drop zone down so you can do something like that and then we could change our solid color to the appropriate red if we would like and there you go and that is going to be applied over on the other side as well so you can see that that red has adjusted on this side along with our drop zone as well. Now, of course, if you wanted to use a different drop zone or a different logo, that's not a problem. We can use our Motion VFX logo, apply that clip, and we can use our scale there, just scale that up just a bit. And there we go. Fantastic. So here you can see that we do have the keyed option because I wanted to show you that we can use these as sort of backgrounds as well. So I'm going to go back up and I know that I used my line graph in this case. So I'm going to click on line graph and I'm going to bring that in and I'm actually going to bring it beneath my keyed self there. And then you can see that that looks really cool as a background. But this does have some cool on-screen controls, so I'm just going to turn that off for a second. And you can see that we can make adjustments on that graph with our multiple on-screen controls here. So that's really great. Now these are locked to the Y parameter, so that's going to make sure that you keep within your kind of uh, guides and range there. There you go. This on-screen control is a global on-screen control. And again, as always over in our inspector, we have all of the options to make changes to colors, fonts, etc. I did like that as a background though. That was really cool. I was a weatherman here. So let's change that to say rain. And then we can come down and in our miscellaneous tools, we've got a few different weather options. I used this one in our intro. So I'm just going to bring that in. And I make the statement, it's going to rain. Use my on-screen control to just bring that over in front. And then over in my inspector, I changed my weather icon here from clouded sun to rainy. So that's really cool though. I love all of these different icons. Very nice, very quick, very easy to use. All right, continue down. We have placeholders, we have quotes, and we have titles. Now, again, all of these are going to work the same. So these placeholders are going to populate multiple drop zones, and you populate those how I showed you earlier. Uh, we have social media, and then we also have avatar. Of course, uh, you don't have to use this just as social media because in our intro, I use this to show the M News box. And then we have quotes here. Again, you can populate drop zones and change your titles and stuff. Uh, all the same within these different quotes. And then lastly, we have these titles here, which are really, really nice. They look so good. To do this, just simply click and drag in over top. And we're going to have that very simple come in again on screen control. And over in our inspector, all of our titles. You can make changes to your bar, as you can see here. Can make changes to the color so if we wanted it to be like a red or something like that and why don't we just say that we would change that width just simply click and drag over there you go we have our blurred background that we can toggle on and off or we can make changes to the amount by simply clicking and dragging up 
on those numbers and we can make changes as well to the levels and the hue saturation all right and let's not forget that we do have transitions as well in this pack so you can see here to simply drag and skim over and you are going to get that awesome transition we have a drop zone slider there that you can populate a drop zone so just click and drag in between two clips you can see here that we've got this uh, sort of just slides right in and then reveals the next clip over in our inspector you can make changes to your text and such as well as your title color and you can say whether you want that moving from left to right or right to left and lastly remember that we do have effects as well so this is just going to work on top of your clip if you wanted to bring that clip in on top of something uh, then we also have a grid that's going to work similarly to M grid and a side by side as well so in order to use these why don't we just remove our transition really quickly and we can bring our content up like this uh, we can make that a compound clip if we want to keep our uh, title there on top and then why don't we just add this uh, why don't we just do our extra placeholder so there you go and then that is just going to animate right in we do have an on-screen control here for position scale and rotation so let's say that we wanted to use this as one of those where we just kind of bring it in on top it's just going to animate right to that point that you have that on-screen control set and then it is going to animate right back out now there are some adjustable parameters here just a few we have animation in and out content position rotation and scale and then we have mask roundness so if we want to round those corners off we can do that as well and that is about it thank you for checking out this quick overview for m news which is now available on motionvfx.com be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one <laughs>